welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. This one is mostly organizational stuff and there's some Valentine stuff too and then just some random stuff but let's get all the organizational stuff out of the way because it's what's gonna probably take up the most time during this video. So I'm trying to get my computer desk organized my bathroom organized just lots of stuff organized so I have first let me dump this one out because it has stuff inside of it these little white bins they come with three so these are actually gonna be like for organizing the computer desk and everything these have been at Dollar Tree like forever like usually every year when Dollar Tree starts to take away the Christmas stuff and put out like the spring stuff they put out organizational stuff too for like spring cleaning so they have these bins so they come with a lid they look like this they have this really pretty pattern on the side so I got four of the gray ones and four lids these are really good because um, I only have one small cabinet in my bathroom and these I can stack up high and they don't take up a whole lot of room because they're not super wide. So if you watched my last haul, we got the clear gray ones for Jackson's Lego stuff. And I couldn't find any more of the clear gray ones, so I got these. They're solid black because they didn't have solid gray. They had black, brown, and like a tan color. So I just got the black because I figured it matches closely with the gray so I got two of those they have a little handle on the front next I got to match those gray containers with the lids I got these gray baskets and these are nice so I got four of these also these are nice because if you stack them this way instead of so long ways and then short ways they have these little things inside of them as I knock my tripod over these little things they will kind of stand on each other so again you can stack them and yeah okay, I promise I'm almost done with the organizing stuff I just wanted to get it all out of the way in one haul okay these collapsible storage containers I feel like they had these before because I remember the gray and gold. So there's gray and gold, like a cream color and gold, and they had teal and gold. So I picked up two of the gray and gold. But they have these little metal rings where you like put your finger in there and pull it out of wherever you're putting it in. So I just thought that was really cute. It's not like the typical storage bins that we get at Dollar Tree that have the fabric little handle that always rips I don't know if I'm the only one that that happens to but I have to pull them out like by the top or else I just rip the handle off I don't know maybe I'm like she-hulk or something she -Hulk. <laughs> Jackson liked that and this is the cream color with the gold and the gold is like metallic so super pretty and these are probably my favorite organizing thing yet. These are new. Actually, I'm gonna open, oh, no, this one's already open. Window storage bins. They are 12 inches long by 9.375 inches wide by 7.875 inches high. So they're pretty good sized. So they look like this and they have handles so they had black and white and then they had white and black so I got two black and white and two white and black and yeah they have like this they're kind of shiny on the inside like I don't know if you can tell but they're coated with 
like plastic I guess or something so if something spills in there you can just wipe it right out and the outside feels like canvas so I would assume that that would be really easy to clean too if something got spilled on it Ooh. so yeah they're like squishy on the bottom but they do have a metal like frame around the top so they will if you fill them with stuff they should stand up I was really happy that I found those because I was thinking they were going to be like gone and they hadn't even put them out yet they were in a box so I had to like get them out of the box and it was it was a thing and I was so happy so while I was digging around in that box I found some new tote bags that are really probably going to be perfect for like taking to the beach and stuff like that oh, because yeah. They're made out of burlap, so I don't think you can really tell, but they're like see-through kind of, see-through-ish. No, you're not gonna be able to tell that. But I got this one, they had a few different ones. So this one's just black and it says kindness matters. And all of them had the same colored handles, this like kind of tan color. They're not super big, but I mean, for taking to the beach, like put some shells in there and you're good to go. So I got that one and then I got this one. This one is perfect for the beach. <laughs> the beach, pun intended. So it says salty but sweet. So it's like a, my camera is making it look a lot darker than it is, but it is like a tealy kind of green. So it's really cute. They had a couple different ones. I was trying to not buy all of them and I just picked the two that I liked the most. Let's do, I have a couple cleaning things. I was able to find these. These have been, since COVID, these have been like non-existent in my Dollar Trees. They've had the reusable gloves, which are fine, but like if I'm using it to like clean the toilet or something, I don't want gloves that I'm gonna have to wash and like mess with again. I just like to be able to put them on, take them off and throw them away. So these are the little vinyl gloves and you get 10, it's a 10 pack so you get five pairs. So probably not a really great deal but that's okay. That's what we're gonna use them for. Next, a new brand that's been cruising around the Dollar Tree is this Scrub It Clean Brilliantly brand. And I saw the little like scrubber things. They're supposedly like comparable to the, I think it's called Scrub Daddy? Scrub Daddy? I don't know. But they're these sponges where you get them wet in warm water and when you get them wet they like soften up and you can use them like as like those little scrubby things kind of. So I didn't really need one of those because I'm not supposed to use scrubbers on my pots and pans. They have the nonstick, whatever stuff inside of them. But I do have a problem with Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. So, actually I thought I bought, a, no, yeah I did. So these are the ones that Ooh. I always buy. I try to only buy them when they have them in the three pack, but they haven't had three packs in a while, so I bought the two pack. So these are, they work just as well as the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers for me. So, but those are my scrub buddies from Dollar Tree. These are quick eraser sheets. So there's five of them in here, and they're kind of thin. So I thought these would be really good for like, we use magic erasers on our shoes a lot and I thought these would be really good for that because they're thin and you can just kind of bend them and do all the weird things with the shoes. So yeah, I'm really excited to try these and see if they, I mean, I'm about 90% sure they're going to be fine and they're going to work. So, cause I, I think all of those things are pretty much like the same. I don't know. They, all of them worked the same for me. I've never come across a brand of Magic Eraser that didn't work. So, 
Another cleaning thing, I got some of this LA's Totally Awesome Oxygen Base Cleaner. It is chlorine free. So you can use this for laundry, stain removal, carpet cleaning, machines, and spot removal, grout and tile cleaning. So I've had this stuff before. This is 16 ounces. But I saw a recipe on Pinterest, which is why I bought this also, the um, yellow LA's Totally Awesome All-Purpose Concentrated Cleaner Degreaser Spot Remover. No acid, no ammonia, no bleach, and non-flammable. Um, but I saw a recipe where you use these in the tank of your carpet cleaner, and it's supposed to make like super stain remover carpet cleaner. So... I think that was it for cleaning stuff. So we did get a couple of DIY things. So we love getting the canvases there because yeah. I mean you the bigger ones you have to buy them individually so it might be a better deal like if you have a coupon and you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and buy a bigger pack but for my kids it works just fine because we don't need like 17 you know, um, 17 of them. otherwise I'll have like 17 canvases that I have to hang on my wall and <laughs> I don't have that much room. So we got these. This is just a little three pack. These ones are four by six mm -hmm. and they're super thin. So that's, and then we got two of these eight by 10 and these are also the thin ones. But anyways, it's, it's a good deal, I guess for just entertaining the kids. Um, these aren't new. My Dollar Tree had these a while back. This is, I feel like they did a different package with it though. So this is from Jot and it's part of that, the do it yourself projects, but this is a marker, silver ink with colorful outline. Um, so this one's just silver with a silver outline. So, yeah, these are, they're almost like paint pens. Like you shake them and then you press the tip down and it makes the ink come out. So I really like these and I ran out of silver. So, and Jackson picked out a couple of books. Mm -hmm. So this is Henna Designs to Color. It's just one of those like, almost like adult coloring books. Just has cool patterns. I love this. Lots of flowers and paisley and all that kind of stuff. So, I love this one. so Jackson picked that out. Stand that said. Mm. He also picked out this stickertivity funny faces and it's Disney emoji. And this is the one that I made. This is the one that he has put together so far. <laughs> goofy Dumbo up here. <laughs> I don't, you, his mouth goes under his trunk, but you put his mouth up above his trunk. That's silly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this comes with all the different, you get the blank emojis. Yeah. And then it comes with, you can see on the back, it comes with all these stickers and you can make your own emojis and mm -hmm. it's super fun. So, Jackson picked that out. I want to do it. <clears throat> Oh, two more toys. I could not pass these up because the last time we got them, my kids loved these things. So, um, I, last time they were, you only got one for a dollar and now they're selling them as a two pack. So before it was like, you had to buy one that was purple, one that was, both sides were pink. But now it's like purple and pink, purple and pink. And then there's also blue and like a mint green. But if you don't know what these are, they come with little bracelets inside that are adjustable. So like I have big wrists and they fit on my wrists and they also fit on Jenna's wrists and Jackson's wrists. And, and then it comes with I mean, you get to keep the cute little plastic fortune cookie and the bracelet, but it also comes with on the back, 
there's a paper fortune teller so you it shows you how to fold it and everything and then you can use it as that little like the thing that you open and move with your fingers Some more things and then i'm gonna get into the valentines and then that'll be it for this haul so i found these little decorative knobs i saw lisa from lisa and will's hauls she posted a picture of these and i was just like oh my gosh because for some reason they looked in her picture they looked to me like they would be like ceramic and i was like a dollar for two ceramic knobs but they're not ceramic which is fine I'm still gonna figure out something to do with them. They had these, which I interpret this as sun because they had sun, moon, clouds, and stars maybe? But anyways, I picked these. I just grabbed four of them. I'm gonna see how well they take like spray paint and I'm gonna change the color of them. But I figured these were just the best ones for like I don't know I didn't really want like cloud shaped ones and I didn't really want like moon shaped ones okay next these I saw these before Christmas and I was kicking myself because I didn't buy them and then one of my Dollar Trees came out with a whole new stock of them and I was really really happy and now since I have I'm looking over there because they're sitting over there the Valentine truck socks which are freaking adorable these ones too so they have like a kind of a grayish colored truck and then a green truck and a red truck and then the heels and the toes are that really pretty it's almost like a dusty green I don't even know how to explain that green but it's really pretty and I really like it and these are the men's socks so they're size 6 to 12 but these fit my feet and my calves fine because I have big calves so I don't know but anyways um if you're obsessed with the trucks you just have to have these in your collection so yeah picked up one book for myself and it's called we love madeleines it retailed in the u.s for 17.95 that is just ridiculous but it's a book all about madeleines so i found some madeline pans at one of the thrift stores up here and I was just absolutely excited and I made some and they were so good and then I just kind of got out of it and then I saw someone haul this book and I was like oh man I have got to try Madeline's again so this has different like I'm assuming this is like chocolate or cranberry or something um that one has chocolate dip that one has coconut like whew, so many good ones these these were kind of going around a little bit before and then they never came to ours but i found them so these are decorative lids they're for mason jars they're for the what is it called like the small mouth mason mason jars not the wide mouth ones so this one this i feel like this is called for some reason i'm thinking this is called a frog i feel like i don't know my mom used to call them that or something but what it's for is for floral arrangements so you screw this on your mason jar lid or you screw it on the top of your mason jar and then you put stems through there kind of like how they have it in the picture and you can make like little it makes just makes it so your flowers stand up a little bit better and this one you can either put florals in the center or I've also seen people use these as the top for like an air freshener or like what I'm going to use these for is for homemade sugar scrubs. I'm just going to put the lid back on, the metal lid cover thing back on, put some fabric over it, and then put this over the fabric just so it's a little bit cuter and a little bit more decorative. Okay, one Easter thing that missed the Easter time when I had my little Easter tree out but these are little tiny LED lights there's 10 of them and they're bunnies so there's blue green pink and yellow 
and they do take two AA batteries that aren't included. So, and they're just white LEDs, but I thought those would be really cute for when we decorate for Easter. All right, the last stuff is Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna show you the three signs I picked up first. I got this guy because last year I missed out on these and um, they had the love and the welcome if you haven't seen them yet. So I got the love and yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Honestly, I might cover this up and do something different down here because I didn't like the welcome one either, but and I'm really not a super big fan of the glitter everywhere. So I got that one. This is new this year, this little sign. I feel like these are gonna fly off because people are gonna want it to take this off and DIY. This is a separate piece that's just glued on there, but it's the um, galvanized, galvanized, is that the word? Yeah, galvanized tin. Um, yeah, but it says love with the little arrow through it. And then red and white. I don't, I don't know how I feel about the red and white. That red and white to me says Christmas, but I mean, maybe they should have done like red and like light, super light pink, like a blush pink or something. I don't know, but it's super cute. And I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. I think I'm just going to hang it on my wall and call it a day. And this one, I'm for sure not doing anything to. Um, this one I got by freaking luck because all of the stores around me now don't have this one. They still have the love signs, the white and the red, but everyone is sold out of this. So this thing is huge. This is probably a good like foot and a half, maybe like two feet. Um, and it does have the red tag so this is valentine decor but it says home instead of love and it's like neutral colors and this little galvanized heart is you can pop that off you could do something else right there i thought it would be cute to maybe like do something so you can interchange it with the seasons that'd be kind of cool um yeah but oh my gosh i just love this I should have bought two so I could do that so I could interchange something for the seasons like if you put velcro on it and you can change it every season hmm might have to see if I can find some more <laughs> um but anyways yeah that's I was like really happy that I found this that. is for Jenna she loves warheads like I've mentioned before so we got her the warheads little heart and I also love warheads. Oh yeah, Jackson loves warheads too. These are a staple in my Valentine bags for my kids. They love these things. They're the Russell Stover Itty Bitty Hearts. You get 50 little tiny chocolate hearts in there. Jackson and I went a little wild in the Valentines. Mm. So he picked out these little heart notepads and they say you're rexcellent, but it's a T-Rex riding a bike and Jackson is super into like riding his bike and doing tricks and stuff at the skate park and I, I picked out these ones they say hugs and kisses xoxo express what is and they have the little red truck so cute Jackson got these last year but he I don't know what happened to all of them they got like broken or something but we got some more of these little dinosaur valentines. They feel like the material that they're made out of, they feel like a racer material. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you could use them as erasers, but he was just using them as like little toys and the legs started falling off and the tails started breaking off. And yeah, so anyways, we got a new one and they say, you're rexcellent, rawr, be my valentine, you're dynamite, your favorite friend o -sore. Love bites, be my Valentine. <laughs> You're totally raw some. Oh, and he got these also, these little skateboards. Oh. These are a new design for this year. 
Yeah, they're tiny little fingerboards. Yeah, he's super into, if you know what fingerboarding is, the little mini skateboards that you ride, like, with your hand, basically. He's way super into that right now. Yeah. Okay, the last two things are, I think, like, my favorite Valentine things I found, besides those socks with the trucks on them. These are new treat sacks. So last year and this year, they have them again. They have the little ones with just one big heart. But this year, they have these ones. They're a little bit bigger. And they had pink and red, but really? I picked red. And these are what I'm going to use for my kids' treat bags this year. So... This guy already knew it, so it's not like a secret or anything. So, yeah. So, these are just so cute. And then, like, if oh, if I had a cricket, man, I would make a killing from the Dollar Tree. Because you could, like, cricket names on here and stuff and personalize them. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So many things. It's already falling apart. What a pile. Oh, All right, and the last thing... It's a pile of junk. ...is... His hat's all messed up. I wanted the gray one, but I settled for the pink and red. But I found one of the little gnomies. These guys are flying off the shelves, just like those other gnomes did. And these ones aren't even half as cute as the other ones. So I don't know why people are freaking out about them. Probably just because it's gnomes, and that's what's in right now. But... Wait. He's really cute, and he's going to sit by our TV for Valentine's Day. So, yeah. That Wait. was it. This was a huge Dollar Tree haul. Lots of organizational stuff. And, yeah, I hope I inspired you to maybe go out and buy some stuff and start organizing your house. Because it's going to be spring cleaning before we know it. And out with 2020 and in with 2021. I need better habits in 2021. So anyways, that is it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.